Unlike anything before, social media has really quickened the pace. People everywhere are continuously searching for that proverbial pot of gold, and it's easy to get lost in the shuffle. So before you buy that dream-fulfilling item, it's important to think about your own well-being and pay yourself first. Hi, I'm Sarah Weston, host of Roadmap for the Future, brought to you by Western and Southern Life. Today, we're talking about saving. We have with us the President and Chief Marketing Officer, WNS Agency Group, Troy Brody, to speak to this notion of paying yourself first. Troy, what does that really mean? Pay yourself first really is a catchy saying, and it's also great advice. Uh, and best of all, it applies to all pre-retirement age groups. Because basically, when someone says, pay yourself first, what they're telling you is to allocate funds for retirement before you start doing any discretionary spending. So by setting aside a portion for retirement, you are helping to shore up your financial future. I see, but how realistic is it for you to pay yourself first? So many of us have a lot of financial obligations. That's a great question, and it certainly is realistic. And I think one thing many people find is that they're able to have their retirement allocations handled on their behalf without actually having to write checks or transfer funds. And if you can do that, you tend not to notice it's going towards savings. You don't feel it and you simply adjust your lifestyle to fit. And here's what I mean. A great example would be your company's 401k plan. I mean, many employers across the nation offer these. And the first thing you'll want to do is contribute as much as you can and as much as your company will match. And then you can then make it easier on yourself by having the contributions handled directly by the payroll department where you work. And this way, your contribution to your 401k is the first thing that comes out of your compensation as a payroll deduction. In other words, you really are paying yourself first. And chances are, after a while, you won't even miss it. So to be clear, I'm not advocating not paying your bills when we say pay yourself first. That would be a problem. But the key is finding that balance, that right balance, and making sure you're putting the right amount towards savings and then with what you actually take home, pay your bills and purchase all those necessities that we all have. And then also think about the fun stuff that needs to come last. Is it really that important to do it in that order? Well, let's take a look at that. So say you pay your bills first. Let's take that approach, pay the bills first, then we'll look at savings. You're certainly making good on your financial obligations, right? No one would say paying your bills is not a good thing. But should you then start with discretionary spending, the fun stuff, and then you're shopping online, dining out and travel, there's a good chance when all said and done, you won't have much or anything left to put towards your retirement. So in that instance, you would actually be paying yourself last. So in thinking about paying yourself first, I do think it's important to have balance and to put things into perspective. And a story that I've heard that gives balance to this, or at least some perspective, is imagine you're in the movie theater with your family and you're out there to see the best new movie that's in town. And you got a lot of people in the theater who are your creditors. There's your mortgage person, there's your dentist who you owe money to, your creditors are there with their families as well. And if there was an emergency in the theater and people needed to get out, who would you save first? Obviously your family and your loved ones. And then you would try to help as many others as you can. And this example only puts into perspective the importance of taking care of yourself and your family before other things, right? Now remember, I'm not saying don't pay your bills. I'm saying you have to pay your bill, but you have gotta find that balance and you gotta prioritize some things over others. The theory is you are the most important person in this equation and you're placing a priority on saving. So really, regardless of your age, set aside funds for retirement before you do anything else. And then, as we say, you're truly paying yourself first. Wow, well, this is so enlightening, but is it really worth it to use the process of paying myself first if you can only set aside a small amount for savings? Right, I get that, that's a, a popular question, and then the answer is yes, and here's why. You have to start somewhere. But the key is you gotta start. Allocate whatever it is you feel you can towards retirement. And if you can, have it payroll deducted, have it held out of your paycheck so you're not as likely to miss it. And then in a few months or a year down the road, reevaluate, things change. Reevaluate where you stand, take a look at what you've accomplished, what you've accumulated, take a look at your expenses, and perhaps you can increase your allocation. 
And the first place to look, if you're looking for extra money to save, is that discretionary spending. Because look, I get it, putting away money for retirement is not as exciting as a fun new purchase or taking a trip. But when you do that, before you buy anything else, you really are paying yourself first. Well, Troy, thank you so much for your wonderful insight on this topic.